Which girl was that doing? Victoria Sludge and her five-year-old daughter Levi are in a good place right now. Their own apartment, a place for Levi to learn, and incredibly, a degree in sociology for Victoria. But it hasn't been easy. Victoria grew up loved but poor in Memphis, was convicted of a felony at age 15 when she refused to rat on armed robbers, and by age 20, she had dropped out of college. And then I ended up pregnant, so it kind of got a little rough during that time. In 2012, shortly after Levi was born, an uncle picked up Victoria and her newborn at the hospital and drove them to a new life in Louisville. The pair bounced around the homes of relatives before discovering Family Scholar House, a low-cost, supportive UofL-affiliated home for single students with children. It was a life changer, if not a life saver, for Victoria. As a single parent, like you already have all of these um, obstacles that you have to face. And then when you are trying to pursue an education, that only adds to it. And so you're stuck with these, I guess, walls that you're up against. And what the Family Scholar House does, they help remove some of those walls. They give you doors to walk through. They give you assistance. Really, I just didn't want to raise my daughter under the circumstances I was raised under. Like, my parents were great, but we were low income for most of my childhood. And I didn't want that for her. I wanted her to be able to do like activities like now she's in gymnastics and stuff and I, like I just want the best for her and I knew I needed a college education to accomplish that. UofL and Family Scholar House helped Victoria get grants and a job at UofL's library to cover most of her college costs. And while her mom is in class or working, Levi's days are spent at UofL's early learning center next to their apartment. There were times Victoria thought about quitting, and she gets emotional when talking about the struggles of a single mother pursuing a college degree, especially a 25-year-old with one bad mistake, a Class D felony hanging over her head. Anything more than being a single parent, that is a struggle within itself to overcome something like that, because you're basically being labeled. You know, it's, it's not bad, but you know, I already have this label as a, a single mother, you know, as a young mother. Um, I already have this label as, you know, even being African American, being a woman, being a female, and I felt like out of all of those labels, that one weighed me down the most. And so to know that I've overcome that, and now I can put bachelor's of science next to that, and soon I'll be able to put master's degree in Dr. Victoria Sledge, even so next to that, that's just, it feels good. It feels really good. Victoria has graduated, and she and Levi will soon be headed to Chicago, where Victoria has an AmeriCorps job lined up in the troubled Chicago public school system. She's hoping to use her experience and college degree to change other young lives. And it's so weird now that I think about graduating, because I couldn't, I knew I wanted to get my degree, but I couldn't see myself doing it. And sometimes, you know, you have to be able to visualize that end goal. And it's, it's weird, but in a good way, yeah. Proud it feels amazing, yeah. You proud of yourself? I'm very proud of myself.